In a lot of these races, money was a huge factor, and, and overall, we have broken the overall midterm election spending already before it's all even said and counted. Uh, the watchdogs we listen to have projected that $4 billion will have been spent on this midterm by, by the time it's all counted up. The numbers so far that have been counted show a total of $3.26 billion spent. And if I asked you who held the big money advantage, a lot of people would probably say Republicans because there was a lot of reporting on the outside money angle of this, a lot of outside money that was going to Republicans. Um, but in fact, the total breakdown between Democrats and Republicans is very close when you count party and candidate money. Well, let me ask you about that, Jack. At the end there, the president, the whole entire Democratic establishment said foreign money, secret coming in, ruining the election. It was a big push. Uh, was that effective? Was that a good strategy there at the end? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think it resonated. I, I do think, however, and, and a lot of people who don't agree with me on this, I, I think the way we finance our politics in this country is a cancer on our democracy. I think it's horrible. Um, I wish something th could be done about it. I, I blame it on the, the Supreme Court, the Congress. Um, but it's terrible. I mean, as the cost of these campaigns continues to escalate, we're going to continue to see these elected officials spend 65, 70 percent of their time raising money from people who are interested in the outcome of these policy debates. That's horrible. It's a horrible thing. Um, and that is what's going on. I think the American people get it. I think they'd like to see something done about it. But I despair uh, the possibility because, you know, at the end of the day, the people who benefit from the system that we have, uh, it's not Republicans, it's not Democrats, it's incumbents. And this system serves incumbency very well, and that's why we're not likely to see change soon. Share your thoughts. Well, incumbents are being thrown out this year, so <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, the conventional wisdom is now changing. You have a lot of self-funded candidates, and in the past that's been frowned upon. Uh, the electorate this year uh, cares about the basic issues of spending, of repealing Obamacare, of keeping taxes low, and less government. They don't seem to care if there are self-funded candidates. In fact, uh, successful businessmen, successful businesswomen uh, seem to be getting a pat on the back uh, by the voters. They think that you know, business sense in Washington uh, might be better than career politicians. So uh, a lot of the conventional wisdom has been turned on its ear uh, tonight, and um, we've seen this coming for a while. Uh, campaigns are expensive. Uh, it's not just TV and radio anymore. There's uh, the online presence. Uh, there's just that much more to do. So they will probably continue to become more expensive.